All right, so we're here in the lobby of the West End Hotel in Irving, Texas, with Scotty McKnight, and uh, wrapping up media days. Scotty, what has been the uh, strangest question you've got from this media horde? Oh man, um, I got dogged for not having a lot of Twitter followers. Someone was telling me I need to step my my tweet game up. I was like, I got some interesting stuff on there. I've been, I've been to the Mayweather fight. I was like, you just gotta check it out closely. What is your Twitter, by the way? S McKnight 21. I also got to plug Tyler Hansen. Strict orders. T Hansen 999. Told me, told me the more followers I get, the more touchdown passes I'm gonna catch. So I'm trying to get that out there. But uh, I had some people ask me about Despicable Me, the movie, which I want to go on record and say it's one of the best love stories of our time between <laughs> a father and his children. It's uh, no, it's uh, it's been cool to be around all these great players and to do radio and TV and and newspaper and all this stuff. It's been a great experience and something I won't forget, so it's cool. All right, so let's talk a little bit of football. What does this team have to do this season to, uh, you know, turn things around, have a winning season, go to a bowl game, do all the things you guys want to do worse than anybody? Yeah, uh, just take things one step at a time, which so far we've done great. This off season, uh been a huge focus on execution, taking care of our own job and especially up front with the big boys. We know the season depends on our offensive line. It does. Um, so much talent there. we got to fill in. There's a lot of guys working at that left guard spot, but Ryan Miller at guard and then our tackles with Bryce Gibbons and, and with Nate and Keenan's doing a great job at center. I mean, they're really coming together and maturing. So if they can do well, we have the position players, the, you know, the skill players to come on and, and do great. So just taking things one step at a time. We've almost finished off our off season, which has been tremendous. Now we got to carry that into to fall camp, and which I'm sure will go great is if it's continued with how we've gone in the off season and, and carry that into the Colorado State game. And then you start to take it one game at a time, week by week, uh, team by team. And if we do things the way we have been and keep getting better, then, then we're going to have a good season. Um, talk about some of the new guys who have joined the – join the team either as true freshmen you know a couple of junior college guys yeah. and then you recently got a, a guy from USC who I know you've been hanging out with a little bit yeah who, who has impressed you I mean Tony has been there for a while and, and people seem to practice but Tony Clemens is, is going to be a huge impact player for us this year um, some of the newer guys we talked about Trayvon Patterson who uh, came out here and he's going to be a huge boost very very fast guy catches the ball very well away from his body, good in and out of his breaks. Um, guy that can break a tackle and go the distance, which, which we need around there. He can also help in the kick game. Um, we've got a couple big guys, freshmen. Uh, Jared Bell is a corner who's impressed. Terrell Smith is a safety. He's he's really impressed me out there. Um, I'm trying to think about Keenan Canty, another guy who's going to be in the mix. Very fast. Uh, a little small right now, but they're putting weight on him, and he's a guy that's great in and out of his breaks and his routes. He's so quick, catches the ball well. Those are some guys I really see that will probably step up and play this year. There's probably going to be a tailback that gets some love in there, but uh, I like I like the way our team's looking right now. It's definitely the most depth and talent they by far we've ever had since I've been to this school. We've never had a receiver like Tony, who's just that complete package in terms of physically and being a great leader and, and knowing the mental side of the game. Um, probably haven't had another guy opposite him with the speed of Trayvon and, and the depth of, you know, different guys, uh, Andre Simmons and Will Jefferson, who both played a little bit last year, coming into their second year. So it'll be big for them. What do you think, what couple of things have to change most for this team to, to get some of those wins that kind of narrowly eluded you last year? Just the small things. Um, and, and you hear that a lot, and I think a lot of people get sick of it, but that's, you know, for example, we had a double personal foul call on, on second and one on Iowa State's goal, and we ended up being like third and 37. What's Coach Keesaw going to call there? You know, there's no play call for that. Right. So small things like penalties, uh, turnovers, all that stuff is we got to eliminate it. we got to stop beating ourselves before we can beat other teams. It's impossible to beat someone else when you're constantly beating yourself. So uh, that's what I'm saying in, in terms of execution that we've worked on this offseason. It's, it's been our main goal, and we've really chipped away at it, and I, I feel like timing between the quarterback and the receivers is really getting down to where if our offensive line can do what they're capable of and give Tyler some time, he's going to dish the ball, and, and we're going to make things happen. It's going to be good. How... Uh... 
how ready is this team for the start of fall camp next week? Man, this is the first year, I think, since I've been here where guys are actually, okay, let's get camp started. Usually it's the dog days of July, and you're going into camp, and you're, you want to wind down, but guys are fired up this year. Um, I don't know if it's the competition, and people are looking forward to getting in front of the coaching staff and competing for jobs, but people are people are ready to go. Uh, and, you know, we got a couple days off here, and... Uh, and then we'll figure things out and we'll get going. So uh, I think this camp schedule is just getting finalized right now, and then we'll know kind of the rundown of how everything's going to go. All right, thanks for taking the time, Scott. Thanks, Kyle.